guys. Welcome back. <clears throat> We're just going to uh, connect these wires to this rail. I'm only going to show you once. You don't need to see me do it thousands of times, but <clears throat> I put a little uh, flux on there already. I need to be carrying that whole spool. Let's get a little heat on here. I tin the uh, I tin the wire already. There we go. That's gonna be tinned over to that uh, to that rail, and uh, I'll set up again. And we'll hit the the black side on the other side. That's basically how you do it. All right. Ran the wire through, bring it up. I'm just using this hemostat just to hold it in place. The only problem with the hemostat is it also acts like a heat sink. There we go. Right. That's how you do it. Now, I already have, I don't know how many more. I got a bunch more to do. But I'm not going to take you long for that. Maybe I'll do a time lapse of it. I don't know yet. Guys, here you go. The first run on the tracks. Yep, that's that. Now you gotta figure out the wire and the rest of this stuff, and we'll go from there. Um, yeah.
just going to show you that it's actually working even though the final wiring is not completely done yet originally I was going to go with these ground throws with um, <clears throat> the drops for, to uh, energize the frogs but it's looking like I don't really need to worry about energizing these frogs seems to be working pretty good uh, just gotta pick up uh, four more of them and then I'll have enough to uh, do the whole layout <clears throat> my four foot empire and these are just uh, you know, powered up straight, straight ahead tracks. Helps when you get all the wheels on. Right? But yeah, runs pretty good. Uh, the next is we're gonna we're gonna do up this siding. We're gonna come out. We're gonna come out about. This is these are two inches on center. This one is gonna end out about two and a half inches. <clears throat> on center I want a little extra room in here uh, if I can get it out to three inches without having a weird curve in it I'll do that but uh, then that's going to determine on uh, what really gets done structure wise we might we might change up the structure I was going to use the uh, sunrise mills over here over to Columbia but this is slightly shorter and I'm not 100% sure yet uh, how it's going to be the first building I'm going to get is the uh, state line farm supplies equipment that's going to we're going to buy that as soon as we get some money in and then uh, <clears throat> we'll do a series on building those but uh, in the meantime we'll get to doing this we have this track in and we'll start the basic scenery uh, you guys probably saw the, uh, the bonus video of me making dirt out of dirt so uh, we're going to try that I'm going to do a little test thing uh, today or tomorrow where I'm going to do some dirt with just dirt and some dirt with the uh, sanded, uh, unsanded grout in it to see which makes, uh, which looks better or comes out better. And then we'll go from there and we'll start. Uh, I'm not going to ballast anything until I take this down and we run on the club for the, with the club layouts for a while, make sure everything works good. Because <clears throat> if it doesn't, then I'm going to have to rip, you know, I'm, this is going to run fine. This is the big question. If this doesn't work correctly, yeah, we're going to rip it out. Yep, I just said that. We're going to rip these out if this doesn't work right. Um, it is what it is. So, uh, yeah. That's the other reason why I'm, I'm liking this silicone. Because... I actually had to pick up this piece of track over here because something didn't come up, something didn't line up right, and it came right up and went, I was able to glue it right back down. So it's actually, I like it. It's, uh, I think it's going to be my new preferred technique. But uh, yeah, once again, thanks for watching Jack on Track. Like and subscribe. Hit that like button, it really helps me out. And uh, stay tuned for the giveaway. As always, catch you later.